chose Charlotte Memorial probably when I was 10 or 11 years old. I had just graduated from high school. My father had died. The war broke out and there was no money to go to school. My name is Garland Smith. I picked up the name Smitty during nursing school. It has stuck through all these years. Mother and daddy said, well, we don't have another thousand dollars for you to go to college. My sister was one of the first transcriptionists when the hospital first opened. When I heard about Charlotte Memorial Hospital opening a school of nursing, and I said, that's for me. So I made $400 that year at Western Electric and made, paid my way through nursing school. The whole first few weeks are kind of a blur, let me tell you. The first month that it was so different because being in the first class, we had no tradition, no, no uniforms, nothing. It was a big step, a big thing. And I was 17. I was the youngest one in my class. I mean, I was just the baby out of the woods. Here I was in the big city of Charlotte. We, had, we could not be late to any class. We could not, particularly if we were on the floor working and a doctor was teaching our class, we could not be late. I don't remember being strict, but if you disobeyed certain things like uh, uh, not being on duty on time or doing a little raucous things or sneaking out or, you know, those things, uh, you were sort of restricted and you had to stay in your room and you could go to meals, go to work, and go to school, go to classes, but you had to otherwise stay in your room. I ended up having so many that I ended up having six weeks of restriction. Were you ever restricted? They didn't catch me. What did it look like, the, the campus of the hospital looked like while you were in school? It was one great big building. <laughs> it sat up on a hill and I was trying to decide when I was coming in at Moorhead. It, you could see it from Moorhead. In a beautiful three-story brick dorm with tall pine trees all around. It was a beautiful setting. When, when you were first year students, you were on the third floor and each year you came down. And when you got to that first floor and when you were seniors, that was that was pretty good. We had French cuffs, and we had a starched collar, separate collar. Oh, it was very professional looking. Was that a working uniform? Uh-huh, that was our working uniform. And we chose the attached apron to the dress, whereas many of the other schools of nursing had a separate apron and bib and aprons. And uh, of course, the first six months, you were on probation and you do not have a cap and if we did have a cap you couldn't wear it then anyway. One stripe on the cap, two when we were seniors. It was very unique and had a little drawstrings to the back. Hard to do up. Beautiful if it was done right but if it wasn't done it flopped all over the place. We did the nursing care which was what we were here for and you learned your procedures and you and then you took care of patients in the hospital and we had we had very nice things to do for patients because uh, how many patients today get a back rub and their bed straightened their face and hands and feet washed before they go to bed anyone that works in in health care makes a difference um, whether you're in the hospital or whether you're in a classroom or whatever you're doing in healthcare. My major part of healthcare was teaching students. And I think if you teach students good nursing care, you do make an impact on the patient care. Yeah. Eleanor Cadell was probably all of our favorite as far as our, our instructors were concerned. Miss Cadell, Why? She, she taught me everything I knew. She got me all the way through the school. <laughs> She was an excellent instructor to start with. Her demeanor, we admired. I, I've been a very inquisitive person all my life, and there were a lot of things that were new and different and happening, and uh, when I knew they were, I was there. I would, I would make myself a, a sort of a fly on the wall. It's a gold cap. It's a replica of the cap. They sold them, the alumni sold them a few years back. Nancy, didn't you start that? Didn't I didn't you? get one. 
You did so. You started it. You started it. You got the man. To, yeah. You got the man to uh, okay. make them. Yeah. Uh, you found the jeweler to make them. Yeah, yeah you, you did. And you have to sell them. Just take the credits. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Charlotte Memorial Hospital and CMC and CCHS. Yes. Yay! Yay!